Squad. Today, we're going to be creating comics with Keen. So bring your pencils, paper, and imagination. Hi there. I'm Keen Sue. I'm a cartoonist. And today, we're going to talk about making comics. Now, in the previous videos in the series, uh, I've sort of talked about creating your own character out of basic shapes, um, and then sort of coming up with uh, stories that you might want to tell uh, with those characters. Um, and today we're going to bring all those things together uh, to create our own comic and to tell our stories. And uh, today I'm just going to use a character that I, we sort of created together uh, in one of the previous videos. Um, and this is based on my dog, Oliver, who is uh, a waiter in this case. And he might not be a very good waiter because he sort of uh, loves to eat. And so he might actually eat the food that he serves. And so this is something, uh, this is a character that I like that I want to tell uh, a story with. From there, I'll actually sit down and I'll write out ideas uh, for the story. And stories have three very important things to them. They have a beginning, a middle, and an end. And the whole point of writing these story ideas down uh, is so that when I'm actually drawing the comic, I sort of know where the story is going to go and how it's going to end. That's the most important part. So once I have a character, in this case, Oliver, the waiter dog, I'm going to sit down with just a blank piece of paper and write out my story ideas. And they can be simple sentences. They could even be uh, single words of things that you might want to see happen in your story or happen to the character. Um, and in this case, uh, in this example that I'm going to use, um, I sort of want to show uh, Oliver working in his job, right, as a waiter. So I want to show Oliver um, and we want to show uh, the customer that he might be serving. So in this case, I think it might be funny to sort of uh, pick an opposite of what Oliver might be. So if Oliver's a dog, it might be fun to sort of have a character that's a cat. Um, and because Oliver is a dog, maybe he's working in a dog restaurant, maybe the cats come into the wrong restaurant. Um, so he's serving. And finally, uh, again, as we sort of had established with Oliver, this character, he sort of uh, really loves eating food, and so maybe he might accidentally or on purpose eat uh, the cat's food. And that's it. These are my story ideas, simple sentences, and we've got uh, almost, we've almost got, with all of these ideas, we've almost got a beginning, a middle, and an end for the story that we want to tell. And so we've got Oliver working as a waiter, the customer is a cat, He's the uh, Oliver or the restaurant is serving dog food and maybe he eats the dog food in the end. And so once I have my story ideas just sort of quickly written down, I can actually get to the fun part, which is uh, making the comic. So uh, comics are told in panels um, and these are just simple boxes uh, that you can draw on a page on a blank big blank sheet of paper you can use a ruler to draw these panels out or uh, you can just sort of draw them freehand like I am here and I'm gonna draw a second row of boxes underneath as well so we've got a six panel comic it's just a simple straightforward row of uh, boxes at the top. So this is panel one, this is panel two, panel three, panel four, panel five, and panel six. And you can sort of draw your comic uh, with the page sort of turned on its side, or you can also uh, have your comic uh, with the page uh, right side up and sort of have the, have draw your comic that way as well. But today I'm just gonna draw uh, my comic sort of turned over on, with the page turned over on its side here. And uh, one of the very, once the panels are drawn, when I'm actually drawing uh, each in, inside each of the panels, I'm actually going to write all the text of what I want the characters to say first, and then draw a word balloon around it second, so that I know exactly how much space I have to actually fit my drawings inside each of the panels. So in this first panel that we're going to draw here, um, I kind of want to show uh, the customer, the cat, 
sort of sitting at a dining table with uh, Oliver the waiter sort of coming up and taking his order. So I want to have the cat actually say something or to put his order in. So I'm actually going to write that dialogue out first. So I'm going to have the cat say something like, bring me your finest meal. So I'll write the text out. I'll draw the word balloon around it. Just like that. And I actually want to have Oliver sort of uh, responding uh, to the order as well. So I'm going to have him just say, certainly. And then I'll draw another word balloon around that as well. And I'm just sort of leaving a blank space for uh, the tails of the word balloon so we can point to the characters once we've actually drawn them. So now get, we get to the fun part where we're going to draw uh, the characters. And so I'm going to actually draw the table. Maybe we'll have a nice round table that the cat here is sitting at. And I'm going to keep the cat really simple, just a simple rectangle with uh, two triangles for ears. And I'm going to draw his paws sort of up on the table here. And then I'm going to draw Oliver the waiter, who's a long tube. And I'll draw him with his mouth open because he's talking as well. And I'm going to draw his eyes sort of closed, like two simple U's. And I can't forget his bow tie and shirt. He's got his triangular ears. And the cat will have some cat eyes, a triangular nose and maybe they'll be excited to be in their restaurant and so they'll be sort of smiling with a triangular mouth here and maybe we'll just add uh, maybe a, a fork and a knife on this table just to show that the cat's sort of sitting at a dining table and so there we have it there's our first panel we've got the cat ordering uh his meal and oliver sort of responding right away and now I just want to sort of show him running off to put the order in and so I'm going to draw the cat in the same position uh, but this time well there'll be just the change of Oliver sort of running off to get the cat's order so I'm drawing the cat again sort of watching with as uh, Oliver leaves the scene and in this case I think I'm going to draw a dust cloud because Oliver's running so fast out of the panel that he just leaves behind a cloud of dust and then some speed lines to sort of show him running away. And we're gonna have a sound effect. We're gonna have a cool sound effect as he's running. Uh, I think a simple zip and we make we can make that nice and big. We'll make nice big letters here as he's running away. And so now we've got the second panel. So we've got in the first panel, the cat ordering uh, his meal from Oliver and then Oliver sort of in the second panel just running away uh, to get the order. And then finally, I think in this third panel, um, we want to show him returned with the cat's meal in his hand. And so I want to have Oliver say something. So maybe uh, we'll have him say something like, voila, our finest meal. So again, I'm writing out what Oliver is saying first. I'm drawing a word balloon around it. And then I'm going to actually fit the drawing in. And so now we're going to draw Oliver arriving with the meal and he's very proud of the meal he's about to serve. So we we'll sort of show him bent backwards and he's going to be speaking. So we've got to draw him with his mouth open. And again, his I think we'll have his eyes closed, the simple use. He's very proud of this food that he's going to be serving here. He's got his ears and uh, I'm also going to draw, so I'm going to just draw his bow tie in here and then his clothes, uh, the food that he's holding up high and maybe it'll be one of those fancy dishes that has a bowl on top of it that's sort of disguising what uh, he's actually holding that will actually reveal in the next panel. We'll sort of see that in the very next panel. I sort of want to show the cat who's sitting at the table actually excited about uh, the arrival of her food. So I'm actually going to have a sort of have her sitting at the table. Uh, she'll have a big smile on her face and sort of licking her lips. So she's got her tongue sticking out with a knife and fork in hand. She's got some, she's 
licking her lips and so we've got a little bit of uh, saliva sort of shooting off of the side of her face here and I'm gonna sort of make it sort of the plate that he's holding sort of glowing in excitement so there we have it we've got uh, the start of our story we've got three panels we've got the first one where uh, the cat is putting her uh, she's ordering her food bring me your finest meal certainly and then in the second panel we've got Oliver running off zip and then we've got in the third panel Oliver returning voila our finest meal and so that's a good start to our comic and we're gonna sort of finish that up uh, finish up the rest of the comic in the next video I hope you guys come back and uh, I hope this gives you some ideas for uh, stories that you want to tell with your own comics and remember all the great stories start with a good character and once you have that character in mind write down those ideas make sure your story that you want to tell has a beginning a middle and an end and then uh, you can actually start making your own comics and putting them together by drawing the panels on the blank piece of page and remember to draw the word uh, write out the text and draw the word balloons around them before you actually start drawing the rest of your drawings in your comic uh, that's it for today uh, I hope you guys join me for the next one where we'll sort of finish up this comic together and uh, I'll talk to you soon thanks Psst. do you want to join the art squad be sure to follow and subscribe so you can see what the squad leaders have for you next